What's up guys, we're against Pyro here. In this video I'm going to be showing you guys a Magic Archer Minor Wall Breakers deck. It's a pretty high skill deck. I'm not super high right now, so hopefully I have a lot of success with it. I'll just log his Ice Spirit away. Okay, he has Royal Hogs. I think I'm going to use a Tornado. I don't want to take a lot of damage right now. I do have the Bomb Tower too, so... This could be a pretty nice matchup for us. I'm not going to Miner yet. Okay, he has Monk. Um... I'll just go minor wall breakers opposite lane. Good defense by him. I'll go magic archer up here. Do I go Valk in front? I'm gonna go Valk in front of that. Okay, that was pretty aggressive, but I think it actually worked out pretty well. Oh, and he messed up his monk. So we actually are able to kill the egg and get a few more shots on his tower. And then I'm going to bring this back with my wall breakers. Okay, I have bomb tower for this. Looking really good right now. That should connect on the left side. Yeah, everything's going right. He calls a good game. I think if I don't mess up, we have this game secured. He's definitely not going to give up, though. I doubt that. I could go minor right now, I could split skellies. I'll just go minor. Does he go Phoenix for that? Okay, he goes goblins. I'm just gonna log. If I go archer, he might predict it, yeah. He does try to predict my archer. I'm gonna go low skellies and then try to activate my king tower. Nato here. Okay, and really nice king activation, pressure with wall breakers. I have bomb tower down for that. He has Earthquake, but it doesn't really matter. I don't even need to log. Okay, I'll go pre-log for his goblins. I kind of messed up. I didn't try to play my miner that deep. Okay, I'll, I have Valk for that. I guess I kind of messed up letting him get that through without Bomb Tower, but I feel pretty confident anyway. Valk solid. I shouldn't have given up that much damage, but we're still fine. Try to predict his goblins with this log. Okay, didn't predict anything. Still got decent damage with the miner. We have the bomb tower ready if he wants to go in with his hogs now. Yeah, he goes in with his hogs. I'm gonna go archer down here. Maybe not the best play. I'll try to bring his monk out of range. Okay, he'll probably just pop the ability now. My archer won't actually die though, I don't think. I think he popped it too early, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go for a miner here. Okay, bomb tower. I'm gonna nato that into the bow. Nice play. He gets one hit on the right. We're still fine. Pressure again. pre log Okay, he goes Phoenix. He needs something else. Okay, that connects. I'm gonna go Miner in the back. He'll probably predict it with Goblins, but it's fine. Okay. His tower's down to 167. Um, I'll just go log here, and then just wall breakers down there, and then I'll just nato this away. GG. Really nice matchup and good first game. I'll catch you guys in the next one. In a game against Makama. I'm gonna go minor first play. He's actually a king level 13. He's probably a pretty solid player. I'm not like super high up on the leaderboard right now though. I'm gonna go wall breakers. It might have been a bad play, but he can probably get a king activation. Yeah, he doesn't go for the king activation. He just like tornadoes them away from his tower. I had to go Valk there. I didn't have the best cycle, you could say. Okay. I think I have to pressure, but I don't have anything else to play. I'm fine going minor in the back because he natoed my wall breakers before. So I knew his nato was out of cycle. I'll go for a bomb tower down here. Go for a skellies. Um, I think I lost. I don't know how the golem didn't get pulled to the bomb tower originally. I 
and then Mini Pekka just doesn't go to the wall breakers. I actually did prevent the last Mini Pekka hit with my Skellies there, so he didn't take my whole tower. He definitely has an advantage right now though, because if he takes my tower, he's going to destroy me in a 1-1. Especially with like a mini P.E.K.K.A he can put in the pocket. But yeah, I kind of messed up my wall breakers there. I should have put one of them on each side, I guess. I'll go Valk here. I'm going to try to get some cheap damage because I feel like he's going to end up taking my tower. Yeah, I'm actually getting a ton of damage right now. I'm gonna go Nato, maybe take out a bit of Zedra. Okay, I took out a bit. My tower's gonna go down. Hold the mini pack all the way back. Good Nato by him. Another dumb interaction there. No, okay, that was that was close. His Phoenix Egg almost respawned. Nice, let's go, the wall breaker's connected. Win a lot. That's a nice win. Like, it was a pretty good matchup, but that was a great comeback. In the next game against this guy, Another guy who's just like a lot lower than us. There's a lot of these matchups with the new ladder system. <laughs> he cycled arrows as I went wall breakers. And that's like f already like almost half his tower. Over a third of his tower. Of course he's an eagle and player. Okay, so you cycle arrows as like a wall breakers and then you go eagle him. Basically first play, I guess technically second play. Now he's just gonna spam like a Phoenix and a E drag behind it. Maybe he'll like rage too. Yep. <laughs> I have to go log here. Can I activate the king with this archer? No, the. Oh. That Phoenix somehow went to my side tower. I didn't lose yet though. Because I don't think I'm going to end up losing my tower this game, but kind of unfortunate. I th really thought that I was going to go to my king tower. It's fine, though. As long as I get, like, a better NATO next time, and I have, like, slightly better placements, I'll be fine. Why are you running Ice Wizard in a... This makes no sense. He's running Ice Wizard in an Eagle in death? Which makes no sense to begin with, and then he's not. I suppose he's only good with NATO, but he's running arrows instead. I don't even understand that. I'm gonna go for high skellies. I think I'll be able to pull his Phoenix. And then I'll go for minor here. Okay. Wait, that Phoenix might actually be annoying. This archer is gonna be annoying for him, though. Okay, I'm gonna go for a second archer on this side. Oh no. That's gonna mess up my NATO, because now I have to NATO here instead of NATOing later. Need to go for a high high bomb tower. Oh, nice defense. That was a really bad ice boost. Go for another NATO here. I think I'm gonna win just because he has a he just wasted his arrows. I think I'm gonna win just because he has arrows instead of Nato. This kid is so bad though. I'll just go for another archer. I just need to cycle back to wall breakers, he probably can't even defend. I can definitely outcycle him and I'm gonna get minor chip anyway, so there's no way I lose this. Yeah, GG. Always nice beating eagle and players. Pretty easy since he has arrows. Found a game against Semi Shin. This guy's a pretty well known player, I think. I'll go minor first play.
Okay, he's just ignoring that. Tells me he's probably gonna have some type of like pump deck or beat down deck. Wait, what? Why would he go ice was in front of his tower? I'll just I'll just go for a Valk here. Okay, he's gonna have graveyard. I'll I'll put pressure here. I don't want to go opposite lane because I don't want to I don't want to give him like a king activation, but that's fine. Wait, that wall breaker somehow got through. That's so that's so nice. I have to go for a defensive miner. This is bar barrel tank. Tower should kill his egg. Hopefully, nice. Yeah, nice defense there. Really nice start. My cycle's bad. I, d I don't want to cycle my archer again now that I know he has graveyard. Was this probably my best graveyard counter other than maybe law? I'm gonna go archer. My cycle's bad again. You just wasted 7 elixir to basically do nothing, honestly. And now he doesn't have NATO, so now I can go for my wall breakers in the back. I meant my miner in the back, my bad. And I have Valk for a Skelly King, so yeah, things are shaping up nicely. I could block the bridge, but even if he wants to go graveyard here, I'm fine with that. Especially since his poison's out of cycle. Yeah, there's no reason to like block the bridge and give him nice Phoenix value. I'm actually gonna go for my archer here. I'll try to protect I'll try to protect it with skellies, because he's gonna go bar barrel most likely. Wait, he goes like that? What if I go Nita? Valk is doing a pretty nice job. Yeah, he got some damage, but still pretty nice. Especially considering I got much more damage than him. Uh, I'm gonna go Miner here. Oh wait, this is actually kind of bad. I need to try to get that to go back to the Miner. I have like nothing to kill his phoenix really well. I need to go log. Ooh, that was kind of lucky. I thought that was going to respawn, honestly. Yeah, it's like kind of scary every time he goes for a phoenix, even right now, like just because I don't have too many great answers. I'm going to go archer in the back this time. I can't even go skellies, they're going to be dead in half a second. Need to go long. I'm gonna go Valk and then another Archer. NATO at bat. GG. Not the easiest matchup, not the worst. Well played though, nonetheless. Found a game against Dr. Puerto Rico. I'm gonna go Minor first play. Okay, I'll go Archer in the middle. Can anyone explain, like in the comments, how my magic archer missed that wall breaker? I don't know if I've ever seen that before. I panicked with the wall breakers and now Skelly Barrel took like my whole tower. Like I had my NATO and then I saw the wall breakers and I just forgot to place it. Okay, I'll see what I can do to come back. I feel like I do have like a legit shot to come back here. I'll just go minor. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't know why I did that. I was thinking I would go wall breakers, but then I realized he would just pop the ability. So just another pretty dumb play.
And I forgot to log. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I just need to like forget about this and start playing well. Okay, I didn't mess that tornado up at least. Okay, I'm starting to play better. I'm gonna go Archer down here. He just goes Rock and I need to take advantage of the, him being low on Elixir. Okay, his Golden Knight ability did nothing. Damage is pretty much even right now. Go Skellies just in case the Golden Knight wouldn't get pulled otherwise. He might if he rockets my tower, I'm going in again. <laughs> I was not expecting those recruits. Let's go, GG. That was a really nice tornado, and his Golden Knight ability did nothing once again. I'll see you guys in the next one. Found a game against AK. I'm gonna go Miner. Okay, he has a Knight. I'm gonna go Wallbreaker's opposite. I'm gonna go Archer here. Kinda awkward. Okay, he just goes log on the archer. I'm gonna go log on his spear gobs. King tower doesn't matter so much if he has mortar, but I'll still take it if he's gonna give it to me. Glad I didn't mess it up. I'll probably go for a mortar in the middle. Yeah, he does. Oh, I was gonna try to activate king with skillies, but... It I just remembered I just did activate King. I got the Valk down just in time, so the last mortar hit's gonna target the Valk. Really solid defense there. He calls good game, I'm not really sure why. It's definitely not over for either one of us. Okay, I'm gonna go like this. Good log by him. Okay, you got a few spear gob hits there. Magic archers getting lots of damage there. I'm gonna go log here. He's gonna get like two shots on my tower max. Hopefully he doesn't get another. I don't I actually don't think he will. I see he didn't try to like block that. <laughs> That's such a bad fireball too. Yeah, he says oops. He definitely should have not fireballed that. If he fireballed it, he had to do it much earlier. I think that hits his tower. Yep, three more hits. Like half my damage is just from Magic Archer this game. He has no way of breaking through with anything other than mortar. I'm just gonna go for a Valk, I guess. And then I'll just go Archer. Miner in the back. GG. Well played. I think that's going to be my last game of the video. As you can see, this deck is pretty fun to play. It has some outplay potential. 
I did lose a couple games when I wasn't recording, because this deck kinda gets hard countered by RG, and any deck with pump, but if you're not playing a lot of decks like that, I definitely recommend it, especially if you like, like wallbreaker cycle decks. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe, thanks for watching.